Hello and welcome to F1 Live Season here today at the Shanghai International Circuit for the Chinese Grand Prix. With 5.4 kilometers of track, 16 corners, 7 left, 9 going right, we have two DRS zones to help overtaking on the Shanghai International Circuit this weekend. Tire wear around this track is especially hard on the left front tire and with Pirelli bringing soft yellow and medium white wall tires we're going to be looking at drivers pitting as early as they can for mediums during race as the soft tires only seem to make it around for no longer than 5 laps. The lap bracket was set by Michael Schumacher in 2004 setting a 132.238. We now go to this week's hot lap video. Okay, so here we are, a lap of Shanghai in China, last corner, you don't want to take any curves here, open up the straight with the DRS and the final burst of curves, now towards turn 1, a difficult corner, as you feed the car in at high speed, and you lose downforce through the corner, keep it in the middle, and uh, for turn 1, pinch it in to find the apex here, as the track dips away here, it's very easy to spin the rear wheels, finding traction out of the corner, as the track rises again through turn 5 and turn 6, great over opportunities overtaking here come race day. Down into second gear, first gear, hug the inside corner, watch for the oversteer exiting here because that will damage your tires. Towards turn 7, a flat out left hander, make sure you take a wide approach into the next turn 8 to get a good entry speed as well. Feed the car to the right, now open up turns 9 and 10. Don't take too much of the right curb because that will spin your car up. Now toward the tight left hander turn 11 and then turn 12. The right corner very tricky to apply the pressure here on the throttle of turn 1. It's the opposite as you feel the downforce build up through the corner onto the main straight. One of the longest on this year's calendar. As we can see reaching 7 gear DRS open. Now down into first gear, into one of the tightest corners of this track. As you run up to the final corner, you don't want to take too much curb there on the left side. It's very sharp, let the car run out all the way and a bit more. And that's the lap of Shanghai, China. I'm here today with Jay Russell and his team principal Anthony Seva. Current leader in the Drivers' Championship, Jay also carrying uh, the weight of team uh, Williams at the moment so uh, what are your expectations <laughs> for China this weekend and uh, coming out of practice 3 I think we uh, could be up for a good points haul this weekend gonna be aiming for a podium don't think I'll be able to win it though because of uh, sort of lacking the pace at China this weekend ah, okay so yeah well, going back to Bahrain then uh, last round you had uh, you and Cunningham uh, right on your gearbox for the last two laps. Uh, were you surprised by uh, his sudden uh, pace? And do you think that he will pose the threat once again this weekend? Then? Yeah, Ewan's pace uh, really caught on to me uh, caught quite quickly. Didn't really expect it. It sort of caught me by surprise. So I think he geared his set up more towards the end of the race so he could push for the, the win. Oh, yeah, you're quite lucky that he ran out of fuel right before the line then. Yeah, he could have me, but I might just hold him off. Alright, so um, Anthony, are you uh, aware of uh, any rumours of Cam retiring from live season? Uh, these rumours aren't true at the moment. We are not sure, we're in discussion with Cam at the moment, but yeah, we're not sure. It's up to Cam really. He, the seat's always there for him, of course, he is the second driver, but you know, He's a really solid second driver and he really pushes Jane to be quicker. So, them two are really good teammates together. So, hopefully, we'll get me good results and uh, a nice, juicy paycheck, to be honest. So, yeah. Yeah, you're right. They seem to work together really well. So, it would be a shame. Um, so, Jay, uh, should Cam retire, uh, who would you prefer as a teammate? Uh, perhaps someone from another team or a driver from uh, the GP2 part of live season? I think the seat could be quite popular, I feel uh, maybe number two drives from other teams may be looking into the seat, but I think I'd prefer someone from the GP2 uh, series, someone maybe like Carol 95 he'd be a good uh, replacement, or maybe even a newcomer to the league, uh, Tom97HD, I think, I think he'd be a great second driver. 
Maybe he, turn, he could turn to the number one driver, who knows. Alright, cool. Well, uh, final question for Anton then here. Uh, did Williams uh, get enough upgrades over the last two weeks to get the, uh, the car over the line in P1 again this weekend? Well, yeah, it's basically a big learning curve, of course, for this year, but, you know, I'm really trying to push Jay, especially because he's kind of carrying the team at the moment. It's a bit unfortunate that Cam hasn't attended, but um, I'm really trying to push Jay for the championship this year because I think a lot of people are saying he's also on favourite to win it. But uh, we're going to have to wait and see with the rest of the season, but, you know, if we keep going, maybe he could see us um, winning the Drivers' Championship, also the Shots' Championship. But um, with Tom Martin, there's probably being favourite to try and take Cam's seat because he's probably one of the quickest on the PS3 platform so you never know maybe when that conversion to PC you never know but I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season it looks really interesting alright awesome uh, well thanks gentlemen and good luck uh, the rest of the weekend thank you yes, sir. so uh, wise words spoken there by Anthony and uh, moving on from practice 3 it's time for qualifying where drivers will have 15 minutes to set a time and today's weather will be as sunny as it can be with 0% chance of rain this afternoon. So with 11 drivers setting a time at the moment and as you can see in the live feed also the Red Bull driver going out. So it's time to move over to this week's qualifying comparison done by Mr. Easy Racing, Ewan Cunningham. So we're heading down the pit straight, we're on board with Iris Guy and Rybox as they head into turn one. They both get pretty good lines through there. Iris Guy possibly running a bit more wide than Rybox, but they both pull in to meet the apex at the end of turn one. Now onto turn two, what's the exit gonna be like? Rybox getting a bit less wheel spin than Iris Guy, but it's pretty neck and neck as they head up to the end of sector one. And as you can see, Iris Guy is fractionally ahead of Rybox at this moment. Continuing the lap on now, we're heading into the longest sector of the track. Who's going to take the best line from this long left-right hander? This is uh, one of the most important parts of the track. And uh, they both take pretty good lines through there. Rybox possibly taking a bit more care than Irish guy to gain some time. And uh, But we can see through here, Rybox takes a lot of care there. Runs a bit wide and almost loses the back end coming out of that corner. Irish guy taking a much simpler line through there, which has gained him a lot of time. As we can see, he's gone purple in the second sector, and he's quite a bit ahead of Rybox now. He needs to make up some time, and he takes a lot of that curve and uh, tries to gain some time. But uh, we can still see that Irish guy is quite a bit ahead. And here, Rybox sees a car in front. He tries to get some slips through, anything to make up a bit of time. But as many cheddars and he moves out of the way pretty quickly, and just coming down this back straight now. There's only two more corners to go. Who's going to be the latest on the brakes here? Oh, I'd say Irish guy's later on the brakes as he has to turn in a bit earlier. And they both get pretty good exits. Now just one more corner to go. Who's going to take the most care through here? Irish guy completely knocks off the bollard. And uh, Rybox runs a bit wide. But as we can see, Irish guy ends up significantly faster than Rybox. So, as we can see at the end of today's qualifying session, that Irish guy took pole by setting a time of a 133.432, dividing himself two tenths from Watwat in P2 and Tiamat Marduk in P3, who were only a few hundreds off each other's time. Marco FD starts in fourth, being four tenths off pole time, and ESC in fifth, being only a little over four tenths off pole. Riot Box uh, starts in the third row, starting in sixth after a disappointing qualifying. In seventh, we have the first reserve driver, Max Shepard, being 1.4 seconds off pole, followed by Just Jack in eighth, one tenth short of max time. Sam596 is to start in ninth, with the top ten being rounded out with Tom F7, setting a lap 10 seconds off pole. Placing in 11th, but due to the fact that Mini Chad is disconnected, he gets the start on worn tyres once again. Ewan Cunningham starts in 11th, not setting a time, and Chasmer, who's driving as a reserve in Williams this week, is rounding up this week's 12th driver grid.
it's race day here in Shanghai with 11 drivers today lining up on the grid on this sunny afternoon it's round four of F1 live season 2014 we started out in Australia and ever since it's been Williams leading in the end almost will China bring a turnaround with the race being forecasted at 0% chance of rain it's up to the team strategy and the driver space to bring points home here today the cars are about to complete their warm-up laps, so it's time to move over to the commentary box for this week's race coverage. It's race time. The drivers are lining up on the grid. I'm Marco FD here with... Cal HD. <laughs> ...for China live season race. We're lining up with the races here. Line all out, line so, out. here is the start then guys, yes, for the Chinese Grand Prix round four. As we start now, right on board with Marco, as he's getting a fairly good start, as Ben's had his really, well it's normal, rubbish start to be honest, as we go towards tail one, as he, what, what, and I believe that's Tom in first, all getting through turn one fine, as a, we've got Jake up into fourth, has got Ben who's lost two positions coming off the start, Tom's going out of turn three I believe, going down towards turn four and out of the first sector, right, uh, right box using a ton of bit of curves and right on board with Tom for the replay, as uh, there's quite a bit of lag with, who is that, Sam? And uh, Seaman, yeah, there's a, wow, that's a lot of lag with just Jack, and I think Tom might have a few issues here as going into turn one, just all trying to filter the way. Very, not, I don't think much contact, if any, to be honest. Oh, and as I say that, uh, Tom sort goes of into like the wall. like a side pod glitch, but then in uh, the back of the car there, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it seemed a bit of contact. I don't know what sort of contact. I think the lag is a bit of an issue. Uh, Run on Bobby Ewan. I think Sam is a laggy. Mofo at the moment, if you want to call him. Oh, wow. As uh, we're coming out of turn four, going towards turn five and six, long left corner, left and right corners. Ron and Bob, Ben, who's had an awful start, who has got past Jay, I believe. I think he did uh, re overtake him. And Ron and Bob with Jack, who's going towards the, like the middle of turn the pack 12. Here. Yeah. yeah, middle of the right pack. Behind the, the little pack with TM at ahead of them. Yeah, Jack's had a fairly good start, he's got Ewan behind him, he's also had an okay start. As they go through turn 13, a very hard corner, very hard on the tyres, he's using the curves. Jack not saving much curves, riding right up with Tom, uh, who is in the cockpit view. Hats off to you, uh, Tom, for getting oh, he locks up the as he locks up, bit. and that's what what through. And again, a bit more lag, what what's kind of like lagging all over the place. Oh, and riding right with Jay, who's... Uh, Having a back coming down all over the place, the he's in fourth at the moment, but he's but back down into fifth. He, and uh, he's got Ed all oh, behind him, nice and uh, Ed's not really uh, looking at him at the moment. It. As you go down into turn one, one and Marco out. is still in third, so Marco's having a good start there. Yeah, he's uh, behind uh, Tom, as you can see, who's been running wide into turn one, but uh, gets great grip out of that corner though. Yeah, right. Pack seems to be uh, falling back a bit as well. It's only lap two, so uh, still early in the race, of course. Nothing's decided. Yeah, oh, here we see uh, Ewan going uh, behind Jack here. About to uh, take the line into second uh, sector here. Oh, he outbreaks him on there. Wow, inside line. So now he's behind Ed, and Ed has still right box ahead of him. Looks like Tiamat is pulling away a bit. Oh yes, right on board with Riot Box again. As you can see, Tiamat has sort of pulled away. He's uh, debating whether I should do the undercut or not. As you can hear, he's debating if he wants to undercut he's Marco ahead lap. of him. What lap are you guys pick? No, no so not this uh, lap. Next but, lap. Uh, the second time to go on to the main straight here on uh, lap two. And uh, yeah. here we see an uh, Irish guy going onto the straight line. What, what? Seems he has a great run out of there. Recal. Yeah, he's in a lot of curves, in a lot of curves, and uh, he's got some good draft. But can he put him down into standard? Can he get a good run up the inside? No, he does not. He does not dive up the inside. Has a ton of bit of contact there, but uh, no harm done. As the, uh, Tom getting a fair decent amount of oversteer oh, coming God. out of there, and right box almost running God. into the back of Ed. I no, believe. it wasn't that. And yes, it was, and he's got you um, up the inside. He's trying to capitalise on that mistake. Jay made was very lucky there not to lock up and hit Ed. 
and um, he's we are very lucky there to do it and uh, it looks like he's getting a good Extra draft percent. coming nice off of Ed as we're making any moves <laughs> into turn one but um, as he selects the prime tyres so uh, looks like these drivers are already starting to think as we cash our mind back to F to the uh, 2013 season these option tyres didn't last long so I'm guessing some of these drivers will come to the pits in a short amount of time as Jack and Ewan are going at it into turn one and Jack, has Jack overtaken Ewan? Yeah, yeah, he uh, actually has, and uh, Jack is, uh, did a great job there, and uh, let's see if he can uh, s stay uh, ahead of Ewan here. Somehow, uh, Ewan has a great line through this corner again, I don't know how he does it. It's the second time he overtakes someone into that corner, so now uh, Jack is stuck behind Ewan once again. And uh, it seems like uh, Jack is under pressure by Chaz now. Uh, here we are on board with Mac, who's behind Chaz actually. And we see uh, Jack yeah, ahead of them, uh, oh, under yeah. pressure by uh, Jazz. Well, I'm so uh, we're about, about, about to now. enter the main straight sector once again. <laughs> Seems I get uh, so the commentary at this like part. <laughs> so uh, on to the main straight. Like so it seems that Mac has a little bit better exit float. there than Chaz. <laughs> He's about to so gain up on him. Oh, oh not a lot of room there. Well. Uh, I'm they're in, in the same call, I think, so they uh, probably warned bad. each other there. So let's see uh, Don't know what how Mac on. will be uh, moving on. Oh, we can see two people diving into the oh, pits. I, I wonder who those are. Yeah. Do you know uh, Cal? Yeah, Tom and Ben, I believe, <sighs> both diving into the pits. Oh, I'm here sorry, what, what? What, what actually gravels it there, like uh, Hamilton or Maldonado? Take it's either one, I guess. So it's on to the first lot of pit stops. Obviously, a great headshot right, there. Buy options. Nice no. Okay, so everyone's basically <laughs> pitting on the same lap, so that's not good for some people probably going to be held up here. I'm gonna get held up. Okay. Yes. Oh. 3.8 seconds for no, Ibox's right. pit stop, not too bad. I guess uh, could be probably worse, right? Yeah. Whoa, 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 I got held by Ben too. The running order of Ben, Jay and Ed are all, has all stayed the same as Jay runs massively wide coming out of turn one as uh, Marco comes into the pits at the end of lap four, going on to lap five, who is currently leading and Ewan goes on for another lap, so maybe He's maybe he started on different tyres, I do not know at this moment in time. But as Marco comes into the pit, we've got other drivers coming into the pit lane. So again, a few more hold-ups. As we see Jack coming into the pit for a fresh set of prime tyres. A, a very favoured tyre around here, as you don't want to be on them option tyres too long. As we know, they do wear out fairly quickly. But uh, as we come out of the pits, Marco is... I think he's lost a position to Jay there. So that's very unlucky. No, and dead. So that's a very bad... I think that was a bad decision to stay out an extra lap longer. But, I think um, you have to because his uh, teammate was pitting on the last lap. Uh, yeah, what, what? It so, up. That is a shame for Marco, obviously. You can't fight it. There's only one pit garage. So as Marco goes into the second sector, he's kind of got to prepare himself because he's got couple of cars to negotiate as right box Jay who's all over the back Watch of Ben now box, who's gonna get horrible <laughs> understeer riding that close up behind Ben as Ben's doing his usual nice lagging stuff they they he's, he's just laggy put it Ties are loving as uh, we come out the double left hander and he's just Nothing gonna follow screen, but uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> but being as he lives in Australia as Jay's going purple at the moment in time obviously I think a lot of these drivers will be going purple as they haven't really had much time on Actual oh, fresh tyres, as uh, they're all on, uh -huh. all on worn options, as they all blast past, and that is Jay up side into fourth, side. as they go still side by side, and looks like Ben is using oh, a bit more curves. Wow. Very odd Pretty T cam oh, that Ben God. has, but as Jay has re overtaken him, I'm guessing with DRS, a massive squeeze from Jay to try and get a nice turn in oh, as he cuts the corner a tiny bit, but Jay, Jay, I'm guessing, up up into fourth place, but I think Ed. <laughs> He's on the attack on Ben, no he's not at the moment, going around the final corner and is Ed going to make an attack, Ben's going to lose yeah. maybe two positions in the space of a sector or two. Okay, you and got out ahead. As we're going to turn one, can Ed, Ed's going to get horrible understeer, he's going to put his nose there, because there's much room there Ed, as we're going to turn two, 
and uh, Ed's going to try and go for the wow, switch back, but that hasn't really worked. As Ben's covered him off, just like and um, it's a good race in here, Marco. Uh, yeah, good defending there uh, from my teammate also. So uh, here we see uh, Mark Bradley. I'm not going to talk about myself. Go ahead, uh, Cal. Whereas uh, he goes into turn four, coming out of turn four now, and uh, that's Marco noticing that he's also lost three positions. I've counted from the pit stops as he does make the move on Ewan into the hairpin but Ewan has got the inside line and he does indeed keep the position as he's right on board with Tom now who's well that's lag what the hell it's that is so a weird. ridiculous lag as uh, Tom tries to dive up the inside I'm it's guessing the same line as Ewan there uh, yeah much. and um, I, I think Tom is glad he got past Sam there because <laughs> he would have been scared to ride behind him as Ed, I think, looks like he got a bit of an oversteer moment coming out of turn 13 onto the back straight for one of the longest straights on the calendar and um, Ed messed up the run onto it as it looks like Ed's lost two positions on the space of that straight due to that mistake as Ewan looks for a little move on the back of Ben and Ed gets in. Yeah, Ed getting very close and Ed's lost a third position so like Marco He's lost a few positions, but Marco Hat was kind of forced to do lose these positions, whereas Eddie, all by himself, he's just lost the rear end, and that is what him down to seventh from fourth place as they go into turn one. Looks like Ed's going to try and make a move going up the inside as it's a oh, big squeeze, and we see you and off. Oh, that's not good, a bit of contact, and Ed's run wide again, so Marco gone through the middle of both of them. And no way to go there. Yeah. Strange In contact. the replay here, Ewan gets banged off the track by the rear wheel of uh, Red Bull. It's just lo so unlucky for Ewan there. So now he's stuck behind Mac and Jack again. Yeah, I'm looking for Ewan there. And even Chaz is now on his uh, gearbox, as you can see. Yeah, it's a shame for Ewan because he, he's having a good race, to be honest. He was kind of fighting his oh, way through the field as we run on board with the reserve. Mac Shepard, who's oh, forced his way up the inside, but he kind of outbroke himself, forced Jack wide, but Jack's having none of it. He's had a good Marco exit coming out of the penultimate corner as they go side by side. Great racing as they go still side by side, coming down at the main straight. And Jack having DRS has made that position up as Ewan is now on the back of Jack and Mike Shepard, who the, the fighting pair at the moment. And Ewan's just a bit of contact there as he goes around the outside. Can he make a stake? No, he will not. He's run a bit wide. I'm guessing his engine got cut there. Yeah, yeah, it actually did, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, not bad Ewan there. As, uh, Ewan hasn't had much luck this race, only nine laps in. And it seems that uh, Ewan's got to get a move on if he wants a podium or any sort of top five. He's in ninth place at the moment. Chaz, I don't think he's afraid to make a move at the moment in time. As uh, I think Ewan has got superior pace over Jack. But right on board with Marco coming out of turn three as uh, they go down towards turn four, not far behind Ben, as they look for a breaking point for turn four, looking at the lap counter, 10 laps in, so there's only 18 more laps to go already, as they come out of turn four, and right on board with Max Shepard, oh, who's battling with Ed, so Ed's had a, a very yeah, horrible... Right behind uh, the... Behind, uh... The Red Bull there and uh, Tiamat as well. So oh, God, Mac has been moving the up the all positions all the uh, pretty yeah. well uh, so far. Yeah, indeed. But as you and did show, it's very easy if you gained all those positions, especially how close the field is. It's very easy to lose them positions. But as you go towards the penultimate corner, the hairpin, you and guessing to dive it on the inside. Indeed, he does. As uh, again, getting Jack getting squeezed off the track. I feel sorry for Jack. He's just getting yeah, squeezed off the track a bit. Now, friendly, like. I know it wasn't intentional, but I just feel sorry as Ed, I believe. I think that's Ed diving into the pit lane. So, um, looks like he's having a run here on uh, you and again yeah. from Jack. His uh, middle gears were really set at a good uh, good uh, part of the gearbox uh, for Jack here. Yeah, looking as he is in P5 or 6, depending on these two wheel drivers banging. going. Oh, that's a lot of wheel banging, and I swear they touched one or two times, one or two times going through with that first corner complex as can, can Ewan hold off with this position, Jack's going to try and dive over the inside, he backs out of it, can he get a nice run coming out the corner as Ewan did understeer wide but top, right on board with Tom F7 who's had a good run coming out of the final corner, who's on the back of Chaz who's uh, also trying to fight his way through the field and as he go into turn one, it can anything happen as we see the Irish oh. guy actually pitted there a couple of moments ago so we can see where he comes out uh 
sort of uh, right uh, behind that uh, battle between Tom and uh, Jazz. Yeah. So uh, here, back on board with him again. You can see he's uh, right behind Jazz, right on his gearbox. So if he gets a good traction out of this corner, he could take him into the next. But he uh, kind of uh, slips up here, as you can see. So now he has to repace himself and uh, get back onto the gearbox of Jazz. Let's just hope he can. Uh, oh, he loses it again. It seems that the Tom F7, his tires are starting to give up on uh, lap 11 uh, here, Cal. Yeah, it seems it has. Uh, Tom's, I think he's just trying to set himself up as uh, this middle sector is not a place to overtake at all, to be honest, as they get a huge oversteer moment. Really good save there as uh, the Irish guy just drives straight around the outside of him. Good driving from Tom to not miss it. But, and, um, yeah. That was a very good save from there, Tom, and I, I believe, I'm guessing, the rear tyres are very hot now as uh, Tom, who's trying to fight his way through the field, the Irish guy, as uh, he's on the back of Chaz, who's probably just going to blast past yeah, Chaz, goodbye, DRS, Kurz, whatever you like, as no DRS, surprisingly. That is very smart, I think, I think Tom, Irish guy, I think he did actually catch up that quickly, within a second as we see Jack, miles wide. Wow. Uh, and again with Ewan, teaming, look, uh, yeah. I see you. this is right on board Marco is on the back of Ben, and um, uh, interesting to see what happens here as a little, uh, bump, little bump. bump, as a little bump from behind as well from Mac, well, as so uh, going into the next corner, yeah, Mac just bumps, it's a little dodgems, little domino, sort of domino effect, effect yeah. Yeah. Well, really as they go fun. through the penultimate just corner, check. as we can see Ben, Tim McMarduk is into the pit lane, as we as we were riding on board still with Mac and can he make the move? He's used half a bar of curse. Can he? Yeah, this is very what, strange to go around the outside there. Can I he really do it? Guy. No, he can't. But he's trying. He set himself up for the switchback, That'll and be. that has not happened. I don't think. I think he made a mistake going through to the outside. And, uh, uh, followed the, uh, the car ahead of him into the corner, but he's <coughs> in a different line, obviously there. Yeah, as uh, looking down into the into the next corner can i think max in what well, marco mac one and two at the moment yes yeah, the battle see. for first uh yeah the moment under, under. looking Not at the tires long, yeah looking at the tires they won't it won't be for long as tom is setting purple sectors now as he's taking a very strange line through there that's, i don't think that's the ideal line right in <laughs> behind well, you and as you go into turn I believe turn 11. Yes, oh, this is turn right, 11, on the gearbox. right on the back. So we must have gained so much time just going through that double left under. Oh, now he's right ahead good. of him again. Yeah. Um, that's uh, Irish guy's internet for you. Yeah, that's uh, very strange. So I was expecting a massive squeeze from Tom there, but then Ewan bounced off into the distance. So just like uh, as we see a battle for the lead at the moment as uh, Mac tries to go up the it's inside the as Marco goes yeah. a tiny bit wide and Ewan and I believe Tom are also on the back of it so a, reserve a big sort of like pile up at the moment as <laughs> Mac tries to dive it into the pit without pedal. putting in the gravel yes he does puts it in the gravel and that's going to hold up Tom uh, not Tom Marco and Marco is overtaking him that was a good move that was I don't think you can fit more than two cars down that pit lane entry and it's a battle of the pit stops between Red Bull and Ferrari two big teams in F1 and he has jumped him definitely oh, as uh, I think oh, Max Shepard yes he did get held up by Jack who was coming into the pits so um, well, that is sort of powerful. hurt Mac and I think so Marco is off into the distance oh now God, with them fresh like... tires just trying to the push it Mac back. very pushing the white line on the exit there Do you Mac will be uh, very eager to uh, overtake uh, the Red Bull there again because he uh, obviously expected to be ahead of him at uh, pit stops. Yeah, but uh, running over Tom who's still stuck behind you and a lap, a lap longer than he really wanted to as he's got a lot behind him he's catching. It's only six tenths so he's also going to get DRS. as being he... held up by you and him. Yeah, and uh, what is very on the back of the Irish guy now as Irish guy getting a bit of oversteer coming out of turn 13 on onto the back straight as Irish guy uses all of his curves goodbye you and hopefully that's the last I see of you as we go down into the hairpin let's see if they can all get their breaking point right as what also overtakes you and 
simply out of six and yeah, that's old tyres for you, that's a bit really, can't wait to get into the pit lane, let's see if he goes in this lap, indeed he does, will he dive it into the gravel? Oh, oh, George, just... Yeah, hurt as much as what well, other drivers have been, but it looks like yeah, Jay could, could setting the pace at the 136.5, setting purple sectors throughout the lap. He's on the last corner. What was there, uh, I think? Yeah, I think you Steve can see that these two are battling out in front of them, and Jay's just going to put himself in the mindset. He's got to push now, and Ewan, who's still trying to make his way for the field, he came out in ninth place. But that ninth place is no longer his as it's Chaz as he overtakes him for eighth place on almost onto the back of Mac and Marco, I believe. So Marco uh, Mac is still uh, hounding awesome Marco minutes. at the moment as we go for the final corner. Someone's hit that bollard massively as Mac is all over the back of Marco now, going up the inside, he's learned from the mistakes. Not, try, not trying to go around the outside into turn one. That hasn't worked. This time around it has oh, and going into right. turn one. Can Marco go to the inside as is that, that is Ben. Ben's gone off the track, so Ben's had a bit of a horror there. As a three-way horse oh, like from like now then. Yeah, it looks like a three-way horse, but as you know, Ewan is not oh, that far behind fun. as well really? as he's just overtaken Chaz. But going down into turn four as a uh, Mac trying to squeeze around the outside, but that has let Marco up the inside. So a lot of strategic moves here as can it go three wide? That's not going to work. Yeah, I don't oh. know where you are. That is definitely not going to work as Marco gets pushed wide. This is brilliant racing at the moment as uh, Marco runs massively wide and can he catch up to Mac as Mac's all over the back of Ben. But obviously with the lag, it's not exactly helping him. No, as you him, well, I did not count out of the question as just over taken Marco. So some great position changes. Yeah, it's uh, actually a uh, great action, uh, even halfway through the race, the uh, <coughs> drivers are pretty close to each other, and uh, onto the main straight, let's see who has the best gearbox here, and uh, as you can see that uh, Mac, uh, even though he's in the slipstream, with DRS, Tiamat is pulling away, so uh, obviously Tiamat has his uh, seventh gear. Uh, Pretty much maxed out here, I think, but he does run a bit deep there, and uh, well, now Ewan is right beside him as well. So we can see the cars still going at it very closely. Oh. I don't know what that happened there, but Ewan uh, obviously got the short end of that. Oh, I think he met him. Oh, uh, Ewan has that. was a very strange incident, to say the least. Lag is a bit of an issue, especially on the PC, as, we, as I talk of lag, uh, Ben does lag ahead. Beautiful example. Beautiful example there, thanks Ben for the timing. As we go through turn 5 and 6, run on board with Ewan, who is again going to try and make his way back up through the field. As Ewan's had not much luck, and with only 12-13 laps remaining, he is, he wants to get that top 5, he's really got to push now, no more issues. Run on board with Jack, who's really pushed out of the question, he was really in the midfield, and now, He's on the back of Chaz as um, struggling here in the second yeah, part. He's, um, maybe on these prime tyres, he's not feeling as comfortable as Chaz runs a bit wide. And Jack has got DRS on Chaz as can they go into turn one as it looks like Jack is in curves. Indeed, he is. And can he make the move? Indeed, a good move into turn one. It's uh, not the best, definitely not the easiest way to overtake someone on this track into turn one as a. Uh, He's got to have a lot of faith in the other driver. Yeah, as we're turning in, he's going to get turned into as Jackie's one lap down the fuel, but I'm guessing he'll be able to make that fuel up. As Rod on board with Marco, who's on the back of Ben, who's dropping positions left, right, and centre. Marco's put it up into Rich. Can he go around the outside? Like this will be a very strange move as, well, again, strange yeah. lag. As, uh, we see pretty much see a carbon copy of the direction of Ben. Which way he went, as, uh, yeah, and then he lagged back uh, to where he should have been, uh, and, and or where he was in his screen. As Marco gets a huge tank slapper coming out, a lovely power slide, as he's trying to copy off Tom, but obviously Tom owns a trophy for best slide of the race. As, yeah, I think he could be in there, but uh, right on board with Jack, who is in my place at the moment, as um, only 12 people in this race, so. Uh, I think Sam is currently in last position, but he's not that far behind. But looking going, at the big mini map and me. looking at Marco, who overtakes Ewan for seventh place. But if you look at the mini map, look how far 
the, the leaders are ahead of Edge, who's in fourth place. As it's a great battle brewing at the moment between Tom and Jack as he goes side by side through the final corner. As Tom just keep the position, but I think Jack, yes, he does indeed have DRS. And can he go around the outside? Mac did show that it's not possible, but I think Jack's got a much better run. Can they, they go side by side into turn one without any contact? Looking very good at the moment, a very, very close. Uh, get, like Jack's not really giving a huge amount of room as Chaz wants to get in on the action yeah, you go, and he does capitalise on that as yeah. who was currently wow. in second position he has now dropped into third as Jay who's like really pushing happening. through the field at the moment doing a very good job and uh, has capitalised on that mistake and that is him up into second place running back after Tom who can Jay really get is it three wins in three or three three and three yeah, well i think he won the first one then the second one he came second so this would be his second consecutive yeah. win but uh he could go for the hat trick uh, if he wins this one on the next one i guess yeah but so um, he still has uh 10 laps to make sure he uh, at least takes uh thomas there who's still ahead of wagon and he's closing. See, yeah, uh, the gap is 1.4 seconds, so no DRS on this lap yet for oh, uh, just Jay off. here, but uh, let's see we'll how the gearboxes matches up. Thanks, Jack. To that was uh, that of uh, Thomas, and uh, how the strategies obviously are gonna idea. work in their favor or not. Selecting prime tires, so planning another pit stop. Although I'm guessing all the drivers are gonna plan one more pit stop as they go down the mini straight towards the final corner as a, oh, a nice line so he really is spin. on the hunt now isn't he he really, yeah, he really sees, wants that uh, win that, uh, these, he sort of sees that Lotus ahead uh, in the shape of a bullseye I guess at this point <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's one way to put it <laughs> so here again with uh, Tom behind Chaz in 11th so he's uh, sort of dropping back again but uh, I expect Tom to be uh, Having another pit stop very soon, his tires are probably wearing out at this point since uh, he pitted on lap 11. So that's already uh, at the end of the stint. As, uh, oh, that was horrible. See, uh, incident between Chaz and Jack there. Uh, like Chaz just missed his breaking point. And the unlucky person, Jack again. He yes. joining the club with you and of unlucky people this race. That was very unlucky. There's a replay of it there, as you can see, it just gets shoved up the track. He doesn't even know what's happening there or who shoved him at that point. But uh, luckily he didn't get properly spun round. But, uh, Here we see uh, Red Bull driver Marco pitting on lap 18 very early. So he has to do 10 laps on those uh, last prime set. I think he's going for the undercut here since he's lost a lot of places. Nope. Yeah, it's a team in a few drivers have been a very interesting midfield pack as we are on ninth lap 19. A very interesting midfield pack, but um, as Sam, so Marco is in currently stone dead last at the moment, but obviously Sam hasn't pitted yet. So Marco, if he can get past Sam, there's a nice clear air pocket if you can see on the mini map and he can use that to his advantage as it looks like. There's a load of drivers going at it, so this is his time Mark, for Marco to really get on them new tyres with fuel as he does put it into lean, but just really push hard, but right on Bobby J, this Pesci, is the one. move he's been oh, wanting shit, to do oh, for, for the past lap, la, oh, last no, nineteen cross, laps, cross, <laughs> that one took cross. a long while to come out as he try, tries to go around the outside at the penultimate corner but Tom's have another, another, I can't say anything none of, <laughs> none of it as you go into the final corner Jay's going to put his nose there but Tom just dives straight into the pit lane puts it in the gravel I think the, these drivers have a good tendency and quite like that gravel trap as Lewis Hamilton yeah, doesn't they take it have a lot of love for their tyres on the last lap they used that kind of abused them on the last lap as you can see those tires look like crap when they were taken off indeed but uh, as he comes out the pits whereabouts he's going to come out because he don't want to, he doesn't not want to come out ahead of what what and whoa that is, and I think we can just point our fingers towards that gravel trap, can't we? Because yeah. he's now lost the position and he's down into fourth place. But can he hold off Max Shepard? Who's I don't think I'm guessing Max Shepard has pit. Maybe not, but he still wants to hold off Max Shepard. Max Shepard's not 
going to take any prisoners and he's taking that position but can the Irish guy dive around the outside and this can be a good move if you can hold this off and indeed he does so good move there going around the outside Ewan's got the tendency to gulp the inside there but maybe yeah, Max uh, ties one as fresh as uh, Irish guys here yeah, yeah indeed but um, yep yeah, I think yeah, you Tom won. and himself as it, Mac, oh, huge oversteer moment, trying to copy off what Marco and Tom did, but that one didn't turn out too well as Sam lagging the hell out of, and I think that's hurting Marco's eyes how much lag there is, as they're going into turn one, as um, yeah, he's taking the position, I think Sam put on the fight there, but uh, going back to Mac, I think he's trying to copy off Marco and Tom, trying to take a nice slide, but uh, didn't guess, wasn't as successful as in the the drivers. As no, tires uh, weren't really working for him there, uh, I think, Cal. <laughs> yeah, but uh, right on Bobby Ewan, he's on the back of Ben, and can he make a position as, um, I'm guessing, all the drivers that's tried to make a position on Ben have been a bit nervous, as you can see, the car is all over the place as Ben just randomly uh, let through. He looks like he just got let through there with uh, Ben. It looks like he didn't want to go side by side for the final corner, but uh, as Ben's got a good run on him, but uh, wow, that is a great run without DRS even gets in, as Ewan did have it, and wow, yeah. as whoa, okay, that's a lag, and even more lag, as we go out to the out of the penultimate corner down to the final. Ewan does have the position off Ben, but going round the final corner, and oh, that was a bad incident, oh. The the look different on both it's screens. Well. Yeah, and, and that's lab, really a mess for Ewan and Ben. That's Ewan over. Really nice. I think he's Ooh. had enough of it. He's had, as I said, he's had so much bad luck this race, and that has just topped it off. Oh, a no, nice no, cherry no, 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 on top of the cake. That's no, really just showing. Yeah. Held up every cake, but um, as Ben does come into the pit after getting very surprised coming into the pit lane, as he comes out in. Well, at the moment, point, huh? as he's got Mac in front of him, and um, I'm guessing Mac's got his front wing changed, so I'm guessing Mac's quite helped. He's glad that that incident happened so close to his pit stop, because you know you want all end plates on this on your car at, around this track, as um, it's understeer central if you don't. But uh, it looks like Tom is holding off just Jack at the moment, and he's on the back of his teammate. So that's how bad of a race Ben has had at the moment. He's just dropped through the field. And um, he, he's just into the clutches of Tom, who's like, who also hasn't had a brilliant race, as well as Drag. So there's a little train here of just unlucky drivers and just drivers that have had a bit of an unlucky race. And not, 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 nothing really to accept. They all uh, consider, sort of got uh, all overtaken during their pit stop uh, phases, so they all got uh, kind of undercut there. I think that's the reason why they are behind everyone right now. Yeah, and it's unlucky for them, but uh, Mac making the position on Sam, who currently, was currently in sixth position, but he drops to seventh, and I'm guessing he's going to make a pit stop anytime so soon, as hard. he does have no, DRS, but it looks like Sam is on the back of him. Sam's not going to take any prisoners. Look at him. He's uh, taking all the lovely, lovely attacking there. Can Sam get the switch back? I'm guessing he's going to go into the pit lane. But uh, right on board Ben, who gets a shunt from behind from his own teammate. as uh, always comes in for Okay. Yeah, so we got yeah, yeah. Jack coming through the that middle and okay let's ride on board with it and it's a lag shunt and then oh okay so I thought Tom's gone out play, yeah. so it looks like he was just over the edge of the track uh, from the Jack's point of view it's even more weird than well, that's, um, Jack was driving through straight from the middle with just lag everywhere and um, but that's good for Jack as he's going to try and pick up as many points as possible at the back so of the So it looked like, uh, like Jack was his magnet and everyone was bouncing off. Yeah, as, uh, I think Tom did want to let his teammate through or after the incident as a dive bomb. What the hell? That was a very weird dive bomb from there. Someone trying to dive bomb Sam, I believe. But um, yeah, a, a very strange incident to be honest. Um, I think that's just the definition of lagging to it. It's just unlucky lag. But uh, right on board with Jay, who has pitted, but he's behind Tom. So it'll be interesting to see how he got there. But uh, locking up the uh, right front. Undercut. So yeah, Tom did get the undercut. But I think that's what what in the lead. So if Jay wants this as he sets a purple fastest lap going into turn one, he makes a position on Tom. Tom's going to still try and hang it around the outside. Can he keep it around the outside? No, he does not. 
Can he get a nice switch back line? I don't think it's the right line for Irish guy, and no, he doesn't. So that is Jay up into second place as Tom gets a huge amount of oversteer coming out Four. of turn three. Right, let's catch and up to I think what, what? this is Operation Hunt Down What What now. He's got five, four laps to go. Can he hunt yeah. down 3.2 seconds on optimal fuel? If e equal sort of tyres, equal sort of pace. Let's see if Jay can pull, it, pull it anything out of the bag. But coming on to almost lap 25, let's see what the gap is coming around the final corner. Jay getting a nice How line far are you as on Bollard what, 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 right on the racing lines. And that's uh, not two seconds so between P1 two and P2. So that's 1.2 seconds closed down as uh, Jay's now dipped into the minus one fuel. So uh, he's going to have to put it into lean. I think Jay's got the tendency to run his fuel as minimal as possible. But uh, coming round the final corner, riding on board with Mac oh, as he yeah. gets auto spun on the curb. The curb. Uh, that's a curb you really want to miss. As oh, um, Max had a, a very decent race, to be honest. As um, oh, I don't think Max can't go fast at all. He's just got to try and bring it to the finish. But this guy oh, my doesn't want to bring it to the finish in second. He wants that first place nice. going through the left and right hander onto lap 26. Can he I hope catch up? Yes, he has. At the moment. What, what has run wide? Can Jay wow, capitalise wow, wow, on any of these mistakes? Jay, Jay is sitting behind him. Maximum pressure now. But uh, can he dive it up the inside? He could have gone into the That he honest. would do. They don't want to say that. I think he's going to wait for the DRS here. Yeah, we can just blast past now. Nah, trust he's got me, half of our curves. I'm guessing what, what's got a decent amount of curves. Not when you're me, when you're Salah. But as you go onto the back straight. Can Jay get a good enough run? No good run yet. Yeah, like what, what saved what all of his curves, but here comes the DRS. So here comes the top speed. Here so comes the draft. Let's see what happens as he goes up the inside. Late breaking. I'm side by I think side he's got him. Happens. Yeah, he's got him. Hats off to Jay, but what was not? He's fighting back. <laughs> he's kept his nose there. Can he go around the final corner? And indeed, it looks like he's kept the position. So, wow, that was a good couple of laps on Jay there. Very yeah, he really pushed himself there to the limit, I think, because uh, he wasn't very confident about this track at all. And uh, now uh, look at him, 1.3 seconds ahead of P2 at the uh, final lap here. The race is almost over already, and uh, I think we had seen uh, a lot of action today here. Yeah, he's uh, Ryan and Bolo Marco going to tell for the final time for all of these drivers. Uh, it's a 5.3 second gap and a 3.2 second gap beat in front and behind. So, Marco, it, no mistakes, he's definitely got this position. As um, I think Ed, who's had a very lonely race to be honest, we haven't saw much of Ed after the first stint or second stint. As uh, there he is, we haven't saw much of him. He was um, sort of behind uh, Tiamat at one point, and uh, then he was just driving his own race, I think. Yeah, as soon as Tiamat got out of the way. That was did, it gave him uh, lots of free room there because he's uh, jumped a lot of people, I think. Yeah, I think he, he just played his race quite well. He did. I don't think it was the most exciting race in his end. I know Ed likes his exciting races. He hates being on his own, but that's a good, good result from there, Ed. But um, going down the back straight, Tom, very unlucky for him, to be honest. Um, he got a brilliant pole. And um, it was very quick on pole then. There was two drivers in his race to suffer from getting that win. Yeah, he uh, obviously outburned himself on his tyres a little bit, I think, in the end. And there we see a riot box around the final corner, crossing the finish line. And what, what, right behind him, here we see him. As well, Tom, a third player, plays a podium. That's a pretty good result. And, uh, don't you agree that, with that count? Yeah, I think he deserves a podium. He definitely did as Ed comes home in fourth and Mark in fifth. And I'm guessing it's Mac well. in sixth. Yeah, oh, he uh, wanted to change what down the, the Red Irish Bull guy? driver, but uh, there were, uh, he was out of laps, as they call it, I guess. Yeah. Just Jack so, seventh. Not bad, Jack, considering he was in tenth at one point. And he's making a few mistakes. Disappointing race for Team Ed, I think. I think the final uh, guy that crosses the finish line here is Tom, so uh, that's uh, China for you.
race classification after 28 laps we see that riot box from the williams team takes the victory here in china once again also posting the fastest lap 135.225 finishing the race after 46 minutes 36 seconds and 278 tenths in second place we have red bull driver what what finishing 3.063 seconds behind jay there in third place we have the pole starter irish guy who in the end burned up his tires a little too much uh, having to lose two places to what what and riot box in the end esc comes in fourth 27 seconds off pole uh, very stellar fourth place there very good undercut on his strategy fifth place we have the second driver from red bull marco fd finishing 32 seconds off off first place riot box in sixth place we have max shepherd four seconds uh no two seconds uh, slower than marco finishing two seconds behind him just jack in the second lotus in seventh 42 seconds 0.944 off first place tm at marduk uh, finishes in Eighth place this time 44.97 seven seconds off riot box there Tom F7 uh, finishes in ninth uh, 51.25 seconds off first place and the final point goes to Chasmer for Williams 52.479 seconds off out of the points scoring this time Sam 596 for McLaren and also Ewan Cunningham not finishing in the points moving over to the drivers championship we see a riot box expanding his lead again in this China weekend 93 points at the end almost three times the amount of the second place in the drivers championship which is ESC from Caterham who is uh, climbing the ranks steadily doing uh, consistent point finishes and uh, doesn't really mean you need to finish on the podium all the time to become second in the constructors as you can see in third place we have what what who uh, jumped ranks from 10th to third from one race which is very good for him one point behind him is Irish guy who finished behind him in this race so it could be either of the guys in third at the moment uh, just Jack in fifth 28 points is only f five points behind P4 and one point behind just Jack is Marco FD with 27 points we've got mini Chatters who dropped down to seventh and Starks HD dropping down to eighth because they didn't have any race points this weekend as we move on to tier 2 we can see boss 9096 in 9th has dropped a few places as well because he didn't race this weekend 21 points Jasmer is in 10th uh, not scoring a lot of points this race thus dropping down slightly down the charts here team at Marduk uh, has a little uh, gain in the charts at this point even though he only had a few points from this race Tom F7 stays in 12 with 18 points. Um, Easy Racing drops down to 13th, only 18 points because he finished uh, lower in this race than Tom, so that's why he's below Tom in the driver championship. We got Carol 95 with one point in 14, Nathan and V in 15 with one point, and we have Sam 596 in 16, not having scored any points as so far yet. Moving on to the Constructors Championship, uh, we can see Williams still going strong in first place. In second place, we have a Red Bull Racing this time, uh, gaining uh, about four places in the construct constructors championship compared to last race having both drivers score good points here so they are trying to uh, bridge the gap between williams at the moment only having one driver at the time to score points while red bull has two drivers in third place we have lotus renault with only two points less than red bull so they will be competing against each other next weekend again in Spain. In fourth place we have Caterham two points short of Lotus and that's a pretty good feat considering only one of their drivers namely ESC had driven China this weekend. 
So they're still going strong at it. Fifth place, a little gap between Caterham and Force India here. 38 points in the constructors with uh, Tom F7 and Tia Matt Marduk having to uh, increase their uh, race pace to uh, get up to the top four here. In uh, sixth place we have Ferrari not having a very stellar season so far. Just one race win from many chatters but uh, more disconnects from him. Which is very unfortunate and uh, Mercedes in seventh who has been having some management issues this season and it shows in the charts only 19 points in eighth place we have a very unlucky uh, combination of Ewan and Sam here who just aren't having their luck really this season so uh, coming towards the end of this uh, weekend here in Shanghai China I would like to thank everyone for watching up to this point in the video. If you've clicked away at this point, you'll probably not be hearing this message. But I'd like to thank you regardless of that. I'd also like to thank CalHD for doing the commentary with me last minute. And I think uh, he did a very good job. Uh, i also like to thank Riotbox for providing me with the slides this uh, week's uh, race. And also you and Cunningham for doing quality comparison for me even though he has a busy schedule school at the moment and stuff so thank you for that Ewan so if I haven't mentioned anyone yet of course the drivers supplying me with their POVs I'd like to thank them all for uh, uploading that as quick as possible and uh, well my plan for the next highlight video I'm not sure if it's gonna be like this 8 POV video because this type of video making is a lot of work try something else for next round uh, of course Tom F7 will be back around uh, round 7 or 8 depending on his uh, how his exams go he might flunk so he has to re redo one then uh, he might have to skip another round but we'll see anyways guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you uh, all for uh, the next weekend in Spain